after concluding the purchases, we move to the next step, which is receiving and stocking the merchandise. So now there is a step when a retailer will receive the stock, and it is about the stocking and warehousing of these merchandise into the store. So handling involves receiving, handling involves storage, warehousing of the goods. Normally, the retailer has some goods receiving area and some storage area. Again, depends on the retailer, depend on the size of the store, and depends on size of the warehouse, the storage area. It depends between the agreement of supplier and the retailer. So all these perspective are agreed and discussed here. Also about the price and inventory markups, about the displays, about the floor stocking, about customer handling, about customer complaints, about uh, after sale services, about returns, about damages, about markdowns. Everything and anything is discussed normally here in this part when you are going to receive the stock. Because if, for example, if it is a non-food product and you are going to receive it, of course, the storage of goods will uh, take more space. So the retailer will decide how much products will be kept in the well, stocking area, how much product will be moved to the sales area. And then, of course, this will be decided on the basis of the sales flow, the sales of that, the secondary sales of this product uh, to, the end, uh, to the end consumer. And then after that, what would be the price markups? What would be the prices? What would be the discounts? Uh, how would be the, the customer complaints will be handled? Everything is normally discussed in these steps. RFID, uh, which is, uh, is now the recent technology or the emerging technology in this particular area, which is used for receiving the goods and which is used for stocking uh, the merchandise. Because of, if your invoices, if, if your goods are properly uh, received into the system, through system, then of course your inventory management will be more easy and more helpful. Otherwise, the inventory shrinkages, inventory losses will give more uh, hurt, will give more negative to the retailer on the margins. Because at the end of the day, the retailer will be suffering a lot of loss but it is, will not be in the knowledge of the retailer because that is not available anywhere into the system. So RFID really helps in identifying, in, in getting uh, the things through regarding the receiving and regarding the stocking of, of, of goods. So we have some examples of it. Uh, first of all is about the receiving and stocking merchandise at category killer uh, retail store. Normally a category killer we have already discussed. Uh, a retailer which is a specialist in a particular segment and then which gives the best prices in town for that particular segment. So if it is about the Google's, it is about the glasses of uh, segment. So again, this is a good example where you have received the product and then you have displayed the product, you have stocked the product on the shelf. So in, in this scenario, you will not find any boxes or any because the approach of the category killer is that the whatsoever they buy, place on the shelf and then the whole stock moves in. Then is about the example of the Monarch 1130 series labeler. Normally these kind of labelers will really help for two things. Is about the inventory management, is getting the stocks inside the system and once you sell these products, you can also scan it which the products will go out uh, to your store and then inventory management in and out can be easily managed and properly managed. So with respect to if I say clothing department, it is different sizes, different colors, different articles, different SKUs, easily can be managed through this series labelers because these series labelers will really help you, will really enable a retailer to make record, to make stock receiving of every single thing properly and accurately. And then we have the third example, which is about the bartender for windows. So normally uh, it really helps the retailer, even such kind of uh, barcodes, they really help retailers in so getting the product secure also, getting the products registered also. So the, the recent practice is that the supplier products, the supplier barcodes are listed into the system. So it is very easy starting from that point. The product, uh, the barcodes are listed. Either they are international barcodes or they are local barcodes. Either they are eight digit barcode, they are 12 digit barcode, they are 13 digit barcode, they are 14 digit barcode, which are different practices in different countries, uh, different part of the world. Uh, so whatsoever is the criteria, whatsoever the set of barcodes you enter into the system. So the whole receiving and stocking of goods is based on this kind of system.